warmed up. Haven't been doing that. Oh, I got a paint. I bet you I got in there. There it goes. Yeah, it's gonna have some grease in it or something. switch. You been sucking up your leaves? Yeah. I got that thing about full an hour, half full. I dumped them out behind the garage. Too bad you couldn't have some way to grind it up and put it right in the top of that. You know what? Yeah. I'm low there. Got most of that right there. That's the intake? Yeah, you, uh, you, uh, light it in here. I'm about ready to try it. <laughs> it ain't really got out of here, but that one set the flames going out right there. Yeah. Uh, see if it's going to pull. Once they get started, though, you don't have to have the fan. Uh uh. No, that's just get, get the fire going, then you just put your cap on that. Something a little better than that. I just had a plastic cap on. Something to kind of seal iron off a little bit. About all you have to have is a, a weight with a rubber washer inside that cap set on top of it. Or like a flap like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I wish I The big putt putt motor. That's what they run a putt putt motors off mm -hmm. of. That's where they got the gas from before they had gasoline. Is that the stainless steel part he found for you? Yeah. <laughs> Said I told Adam to be on the lookout for it. No, inside this tank here. Oh, is it? I told Adam to be on the lookout for a, a certain size diameter pipe. And Adam's like, okay, all right, well, whatever. He's thinking. And then he drove down the road and he saw it. <laughs> Got it, brought it over. And you have to light it from over there or here? Here. Uh -huh. Light it in there. The way I understand it, as soon as your flames start coming out here, you can shut your motor off and let your motor, when you shut your fan off, then your motor's pulling a vacuum on it over there then. Yeah. And you cap this off. Yeah. And it's pulling harder than that fan will. That fan just gets started a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That's, That's got good. a lot more suction on a motor pulling. Mm -hmm. They made theirs with straps here holding it down. But I left them three bolts sticking up there and hold that chain. Just bolted it down. bolted down on it. Hmm. I don't know how good that's going to hold because this whole big top plate has got that heat proof silicone on it. Gasket maker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to withstand 600 degrees, but this thing ain't supposed to get but two something, I think. Yeah, it won't get that hard because of the jacket, cooling jacket. Suck it down that wood, ain't it? 
I don't want to light it just yet. No. And just pulled it right through there perfect. It's pulling good, ain't it? Mm hmm. Shut it off then. Well, I was supposed to put some silicone on this for a permit before I start using it. I'm gonna get out here some of these uh, <laughs> chips. Them ain't dry as they're supposed to be for burning. They're a little bit dry, wet yet. But they'll be just fine in that right there. 12 gallons? Yeah, that's a lot of filtering. Hmm. They take a long time for it to have to be changed, wouldn't it? Yeah, they said about every 100,000 miles. True. <laughs> that's better than a muffler. Well, uh, uh, a regular barrel, like that metal one for the bottom part, they said it was about, uh, would last about 10,000 miles before you had to do anything to them. But a heavier one, it lasts 100,000 miles. Well, that there's a heavier barrel for sure. You got a lot flex to it. I'm using the same size barrel for the hoppers they was using for the burner. Yep. So there was someone just like a, a 50 gallon barrel, or 25 or yep. 30 gallon. Yeah, it's a 30 gallon on top, 55 on the bottom, please. Yeah, I gotta find me a <coughs> chuck for that drill press. That's a brand new uh, grinder. Yeah. Yeah, every one of these brand new. 